demo here. If I change this to a seven, it's gonna change the backlight color from blue to white blue. Uh, change it here, you can't really see it in the video, I think you can. Um, I can go back to, I can change it to like four. Now it's orange. Or on my video, without the video, it's more like a yellow. It's an odd kind of color. Um, so I can set any kind of color. And so there's all these commands within the documentation on how to set the color. With my Hardwire Electronics PDM15, it works uh, with this keypad natively. So I don't have to set any of this. Uh, the only thing I really had to set was the bit rate. And you can see that I changed the bit rate from 125 kbbs to 500,000. And then I set the bit rate here with that number there signifying um, which hex value sets the 500 kbps. Um, and uh, that, that allowed me to talk back to it. Uh, if the, if, if you're, the baud rate between all your devices on your CAN bus aren't equal, then you can't talk. Um, so you can't communicate between the devices. So my car works at 500 and all the devices in my car work at 500 the keypads come default 125. So that's when I was setting it. Now I'm just playing around with various other settings that I could tweak. Um, but like I said, the hardwire PDM, hardwire electronics PDM 15 doesn't use, um, you don't have to set any of this stuff other than that speed thing. I didn't have to set any of that. Uh, they will just take care of it. Um, and if you want to run your car at 125, you can, but it means you're changing all the other things. So, uh, the faster baud rate is actually preferred. Um, and so I set the faster baud rate right there. And then I set it on the keypad right here. And Bob's your uncle, I, uh, I had it communicating again at 500. So everything works. And now I can just plug this into my um, Asgard Motorsports CAN hub. And uh, it should be able to talk to the PDM-15 once we have it all wired in.